Hey guys, my name is Thomas Brush, I'm the creator of a game called Pinstripe and a game called Once Upon a Coma. Both games are launched, or launching, Coma's about to launch, on pretty much every platform you can imagine, Switch, PS4, Xbox, Steam, whatever it is you want to play it on, it's probably there. So click the link in the description to check it out. If you guys want a free copy of Pinstripe, you can support on Patreon, that would really mean a lot to me. Alright, so, the thing is, is that... We designed a character in a previous video in Photoshop. Specifically, we designed a 2D version of Link from Breath of the Wild. That was really fun. And now I want to show you how we're going to rig it in Unity. Some of you are thinking, oh boy, we're going to be rigging a character. We're going to create a skeleton and rig it up and create the mesh and have to paint all the weights. It's going to be really, really difficult. It's actually not. Unity has an incredible new rigging tool that is so easy to use. I was really surprised by it. No more external plugins, just jump right into Unity, rig it up, and animate your character. So let's jump into Unity and get started. But first, before we get started, guys, I want to thank this video's sponsor, Skillshare. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an incredible website for you guys to learn about pretty much anything you want to learn about. Specifically, if you want to learn about game design, it's an incredible place. Whether it's audio design for your games, or 2D illustration, or animation, or Unreal, coding, storytelling, marketing, business, management, whatever it is you need to learn about game development, it's on Skillshare. The coolest part about this ad read is, hey, Get two free months of Skillshare by clicking the link in the description. You really can't beat that, guys. Give it a shot. See what happens. I love Skillshare. It's a great way to learn about game development. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to want to do when you create a new Unity scene or Unity project is you're going to jump into your package manager and you're going to click this advanced button and click show preview packages and you're going to want to import the 2D animation tool and then also you're going to want to import the 2D PSD importer tool as well. Once those are installed, you're good to go. Fortunately, I've already installed those for this tutorial. And right off the bat, you're going to see that in my art folder here, I have a little uh, prefab called link. And if I double click on that, you'll see that it's a PSB file. It's not a PSD file, it's a PSB file. And that's just basically a variation of a Photoshop file that imports extra data into Unity so that we can figure out what we want to skin and how we want to skin it. What's really cool is all of my layers here, which are named intuitively, including his hands, his arms, his bicep, his head, and so forth. What's really cool is when this is imported into Unity, it's going to auto-generate a prefab out of that PSB. And I can actually drag that prefab, and you'll notice that all of my layers are auto arranged. Now this is amazing. This is certainly something I didn't have five, six years ago when I was making Pinstripe. For those of you who are starting Unity now, you're spoiled rotten. Uh, you have an amazing tool. So what I'm going to do is actually show you how to take this PSB and actually rig it up so that we can move his arms and animate his head and his sword and do all sorts of cool things with our link model here. So let's jump right into our importer settings when we select link here. You'll see that the mesh type is set to full rect instead of tight. It's going to default to tight, so you're going to want it to be full rect. And then go to your sprite editor, and you'll see that everything is sort of separated out into various sprites. We're not going to do anything here. Where we're going to go is we're going to click up in this top left hand corner, click the drop down, and go to skinning editor. And this is going to allow us to create bones. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bone. So let's click this create bone button. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at the pelvis and we're going to create two little pieces of his spine. We're going to right click so that we can actually start a new position to about right here, but be sure you're selecting what it's actually attached to. So it's okay to move your bones away from where they're attached. So about right here and here and then the sword. Right click again, and then what we're going to do is be sure the second portion of the spine is selected, and then select here to here. And then we're also going to do a head, and we're also going to do 
his legs. So I select the bottom portion here because that's what the legs are connected to. And we're gonna move away from it to about here. Go down to his knees. And we don't really need a feet or a foot bone. So we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna do the same on this side as well. So if we click on this preview pose button and try and pose our character, you'll notice he doesn't actually move. And that's because we haven't actually attached any of the mesh, the actual image, to the bones. Fortunately, it's really easy to do in Unity. All you gotta do is click Auto Geometry. And what I like to do is, down in this bottom right-hand corner, I like my subdivisions for my mesh to be pretty high so that I have the ability to paint highly detailed areas. If I put it down to about 14, it would create a very low poly mesh. And it might be a little bit difficult to paint onto that mesh. So let's put it at 100 so that I can show you exactly what I mean. We're going to click Auto Generate for All Visible. And right away, you'll see that our mesh is created. This is really amazing. For those of you who are familiar with Blender, um, it feels a lot like working with 3D modeling. But it's creating a 2D mesh for us. So let's go ahead and try and see if the auto generation actually worked for us. Wow, really did, this is amazing. There are some things that are a little weird like this strange cyst coming out of his chest. Um, but overall, this is pretty good. Okay, we'll need to fix that, we'll need to fix that. He's got a nice thin waist there. <laughs> and you'll see his sword isn't bending properly. So the fortunate thing about Unity's Sprite Editor tool and rigging system is we can keep our rig like this and then start painting and watch it fix itself as we paint. So let's go to our weight brush down here, click the weight brush, and what you'll notice is if we zoom in, there's certain portions of our character that need to be fixed. So what you'll notice is that this spine here, we could probably paint full red right here and right here. Now you notice that nothing's actually getting painted. Even if I select this bone and try and paint with this bone, nothing's actually happening. And that's because we actually haven't selected the mesh to paint. So first things first, double click. And now you'll notice that the mesh is selected and we can choose to paint only on this actual mesh. And again, this mesh is actually this image here this layer body. So we could choose whatever we wanna paint using the selection tool or by double clicking. Now you'll notice that this mesh is really high poly. So let's go ahead and backtrack. This was just to show you how you could subdivide each mesh. We really don't need it to be that high. So let's jump back in time and do a lower poly count. So again, hit auto geometry and let's just put it down to about 30 and click generate for all visible. So this looks a lot better and this looks much more reasonable in terms of painting. We didn't need that many. But if you ever have trouble painting, you can definitely mess with the subdivide to get a little bit more detail when you're doing your weight painting. So anyway, let's go back to our weight brush. Let's zoom in here and let's just move our bones around to get an idea of how things look so that we can actually fix things that are problematic. So, again, we're gonna double click on the mesh we wanna paint, and then we select the bone that we want to paint. So in this case, it's almost like selecting a swatch. So let's select this red bone here, and simply paint. And you'll see it fixing itself, which is just amazing. Dude, nice belly. All right. Pretty cool. Let's take this purple here and just add in a little bit of fixing here. There we go. And let's double click on the sword and then the blue bone. And we're going to paint the sword and the hand so that they sort of move in conjunction with one another. That's perfect. I love it. Okay, anything else here? that needs to be fixed. So far it looks pretty good. That one, this arm really shouldn't be affecting this portion here. So let's double click here and then take this yellow and actually paint away any of that pink. Yeah, there we go. We didn't need any of that. There we go, something like that. 
we could probably paint a little bit more here there we go perfect now it's okay if you want to paint a little bit so that it sort of blends together so something like that so you can see now his arm is sort of pulling at the sleeve at the shirt there we go awesome all right so it's not perfect but for our demonstration here that looks about right so let's hit apply and exit out and now all we've got to do guys let's delete this let's just drag in link into our scene and we're gonna scale him down to about 0.2 percent and let's center him up now we can see link in game here wasn't that the most easiest thing can I say that most easiest let's just say it wasn't that the most easiest way to rig a character I am really impressed with what unity has to offer here this isn't even sponsored by unity I just really really like what they did here so go ahead and, and open up unity and give it a shot and see what happens if you guys like this video click the link in the description I mean wait you can click the link in the description <laughs> but leave a comment subscribe and hit the notification bell and don't forget you can support our patreon and get a free copy of pinstripe thanks guys bye Wait, guys, I wanted to tell you about someone. There's this dude named Johnny Benade. I think that's how you say his name. And I want to tell Johnny that you can do it, dude. Keep working hard. Keep working hard. It's worth it. And I am proud of your work ethic. I heard a lot about you. He's a great fan of this channel, guys, and I wanted to give him some encouragement and a shout-out. You got it. Go. 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 Get it done.